Relationships can only work when both people do their part. So if only one person is putting all of what they have in a basket, the other person isn't putting anything in it, you're not going to go anywhere. It, it requires both parties to do the work. It's not just a one-way lane. And if that person that you're with is manipulative, if they are harassing you in any way, or forcing you to do things that you don't want to do, that's another thing because just because you're in a relationship with them doesn't mean it's okay for them to verbally abuse you. It doesn't mean it's okay for them to take advantage of you whenever you don't want to, whenever you don't feel comfortable in certain situations. It doesn't mean that you have to break down your morals. It doesn't mean that you have to um, give in to things that you don't want to give in to. It, it doesn't mean that. Just because you're with someone, just because you have a relationship with them, it doesn't mean that you have to belittle yourself to be with them. And that is called manipulation. And a lot of guys and women, too, we're guilty of it, too. It's a manipulation game. I watched this video on YouTube, like, a couple months ago. I, it was literally this guy. He was a relationship expert. But I, I watched it, okay? And he was... He told his class that he was teaching because he had a huge class. I don't even remember his name. Uh, maybe I'll find it, but I, it doesn't matter regardless. He told the class that he was teaching to manipulate the girlfriends. And I was just sitting there like, are you serious? Like, love is not manipulation. Love is not selfish. Love is not impatient. Like, that is just crazy to me that that was even being taught and he was telling them you know do little manipulation confuse confuse their minds tell them you hate them and then tell them you love them and I'm just sitting there like like I was watching this on YouTube I was just sitting there like are you crazy like no wonder all these this generation is getting amped up with all these selfish versions of love like love is not selfish love is supposed to be selfless love is supposed to be kind love is supposed to be patient love is not supposed to be a oh you come here you give me what i want now you do this for me and it's not love isn't supposed to be pointing out flaws in people all the time love is patient love is kind and if you don't see that you're not ready to be in a relationship if you're going into a relationship thinking what can i get out of it you're not ready to date. You're not ready to pursue marriage. You're not ready for that. If you're going into it with a selfish mindset, then you are not ready to be in it. Love is not selfish, okay? You should be going into a relationship with the mindset thinking, what can I give this person? What can I do for them? How can I make their day better? How can I make their stress go away? How can I help them fight these battles that they're dealing? Um, can I lead them? Can I help them accomplish their goals and their dreams? It's not about, it's not all about you. I hate, I hate to, I hate to tell you that. And I hate, to, like, I tell myself that too. It's not all about me. And that's the thing, as, as people of this world, getting manipulated by society and all this stuff, we believe that we're right. If you don't do what I say now, then I'm cutting you off and stuff. And, like, don't get me wrong, there's certain things that do need to be drawn. There's certain boundaries that need to be drawn. Uh, but as partners, whenever you're with someone, you need to respect those boundaries. And if they cross those boundaries, then, you know, if they keep on crossing that boundary, then, you know, then maybe you do need to cut them off. But, but love is not supposed to be a selfish thing. I just wanted to get that out there because I just see all these things all over social media and Instagram and Facebook. And it's just like, love is not supposed to be all about you. And if you're going in the relationship with that mindset, you are setting yourself up for failure. I'm telling you that right now, okay? <sighs> love is not selfish. Love is kind. Love is pure. Love is selfless. The whole reason for relationships is to possibly get married. And if you're going into a relationship with the mindset, the selfish, the selfish mindset of, what can she give me? What can I get from her? What can, what are, what are they going to do for me? Then you're not ready for a relationship. If you're going in that relationship with the mindset of what can I do to help her? What can I do to help him? What can I do to make his life better? What can I do to help 
her achieve her dreams. And this is the same thing with women too. So I'm not like trying to glorify one or the other. Like women and men are equal, you know, and the roles are equal. Um, so that is my thoughts on it. But I just wanted to really share this because it's not all about you. And I feel like today's generation, like we push that, we push that, we push, yeah, love, this is selfish, I'm selfish. I, 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 I want this, I want that, it's all about me, you pleasure, like it's all, I want the pleasure, I want this, I want that, and like pleasure, that doesn't have to mean, you know, like, whatever one's head goes to whenever I say that, pleasure can be other things, <laughs> like, you know, well, what are you getting me for my birthday, like, I know this sounds crazy, but like, people fight over like, these crazy topics, and that all goes back to, if you're not ready to be in a relationship, by going into the relationship, when saying, what can I get by going into this, then you're not ready for a relationship. Because you have to be whole and you cannot go looking for another person until you find yourself. You can't, you cannot, you cannot, that is such a high, unrealistic expectation to put on someone. Sorry, I'm like pointing at you. You cannot go into a, a relationship and going out there seeking a man, if you're man hungry or woman hungry, whatever, expecting them to fill that void that you have in your heart. They, there's only one thing that's going to fill that void. You need to find yourself, who God created you to be, the special individual that you are. You are unique, you have a purpose, you have a plan, and you are not meant to just live, pay bills, hook up with people, and die. That's not why you're here. You know, we need to purify our hearts, our minds, and we need to prepare ourselves for the person that we're supposed to be with. That's why, like, whenever we start dating all these random people and sleeping with all these people and doing all these things that we're not created to be together, whenever we abuse the whole marriage thing, you know, it's it's really, really harmful. We, we can't go out here doing all that stuff because we're going to postpone the one that is our soulmate. And I do believe that we do have soulmates. I believe there's there's many different people that you know, God is okay with us dating. I believe that um, we get to choose because we have free will. But my whole point with this video is that you are special. You have a plan for your life. And you are not ready for a relationship if you're going in there with a selfish mindset. How crazy is that? How crazy? How crazy is that? Like... Seriously, like it's not all about you. I hate to tell you that and you can tell me that too You can tell me Jenna. It's not all about you because it's not and it literally breaks my heart and it literally makes me just want to cry in my room <laughs> Literally, wow, this lighting looks good. But anyways, um, I literally get blue in the face whenever I watch all these videos that I watch on YouTube about relationships because it's all selfish love is not supposed to be selfish 